So, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't played Dead Side in about a month and a half. I hit about 75 hours of playtime, and I was like, okay, I've seen basically everything that this game has to offer. You know, I'm gonna wait for more content, for changes to the admin panel, to stuff just being added to the game, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of a chill. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching the videos. If you guys enjoy the videos, consider subscribing, leave a like on it. And if you guys want to support the channel at a higher level, consider becoming a member. 99 cents a month and you can support the channel directly via the join button down below. So today we have update 0.1.7. And like I said, I haven't played in about a month and a half. So I'm actually going to go back and talk about some of the changes that have been made in, in the last month and a half. Today's update brings us code locks for base doors, which is fantastic. So now if I'm offline and people have the codes to my base, they can access my base, drop stuff off in their containers and, you know, just do that. I still wish we could have groups and clan systems so that people can help build the base while I'm offline or even while I'm there, they can actually like play stuff down, build walls and all that, but we're just not quite there yet. This is a nice step in the direction of getting like real group play going. They've added campfires, uh, which do nothing. They're just visual. Not quite sure why they're there, but they are. They've added new firearms. So we have the Grom, the UAG, the AKS. They've added a new pistol, which is the F57. And they added the BB-19, which is essentially a PP Bison. And they added a grenade launcher, which... Um, yeah, grenade launchers are fun to shoot. I watched a couple people basically shoot them straight up in the air. The grenade just falls straight down and blows them up, and it's actually kind of hilarious. They've added four new sights to the game. This is one of the most anticipated things in terms of combat. They have the COD, which is a 4X, the HMR, which is a 4X. They added a POS-1, which is uh, a scope made for like the AKs. Um, which is a 4x site as well and then you have the PU which is a 3.5x and it's only attachable to the Mosin so we finally have our first iteration of longer ranged gameplay which is going to help for those engagements going into some of these missions fighting scavs it's just a welcome addition just getting outside of the red dots and holographics they've added new visual content uh, which is essentially like they've added like rail cars and broken down tanks and stuff littered across Across the map you know just just visual stuff I want to see when it comes to visual I want to see their their first uh, pass on points of interest so expanding on the cities that we have on the map right now adding buildings that we can go in and loot I want to see that kind of content moving forward we have a new sound system so there's new weapon sounds gunshots reloading there's new footstep sounds there's new audio systems for wind noises forests and rivers they've added music while you're loading but the most important one is they've added audio settings for voice chat and microphone thank god for that and in a previous patch which i actually hadn't got to test until today they've actually increased the range in which you can hear people speak. So it's not just you have to be like right up sniffing each other's noses to hear everybody. They actually got it going pretty well. One of the biggest disappointments, outside of everything else that is good on this patch, one of the things that I was really looking forward to was the option to change the max number of people for the squad. When I first heard this, I was thinking, man, we can finally go above the five-man limit for squads. I was thinking, like, we have a server where we have our own rule sets for KOS and warring and factions, and we kind of created our own clan system between multiple streaming communities that all, you know, congregate onto the server server so we're running 10 12 people per faction and we have to create our own uniforms to like designate who's who so we don't you know we we try to mitigate the team killing that goes on in all of these mission areas because it's just the it's just the system we have in place so when i heard that we could change the max number of people i'm thinking we could do like 15 people per squad everybody meets up everybody sends the invites to each other and now we have a whole squad a whole faction running around and we don't have to worry about team killing but unfortunately, you can only change it from one to five people per squad, which to me doesn't make sense because the max amount of people we could have before this patch was five. And now we can set it to one, two, three, four or five. But like if I didn't want five people in my squad, if I only wanted three, I would only invite three people. 
You know what I mean? Like, it feels weird that an admin can lower the amount of people per squad, but we can't raise it past five. I don't know if it's just them not wanting to have that many people in there, but I feel like if we can change it from one to five, we, we should be able to, to up that from, you know, five to ten, five to eight. Like, it just, it just seems so unnecessary to let us limit the amount of people in a squad. So that was really disappointing. Um, and then they've added some chat fixes. The biggest thing for me is I never tested the admin panel changes. Now we can spawn things in, all of the items in the game, we can just bring it in. So a big thing for us on our server is doing events that reward players in a certain type of way, but we would have to grind up, earn the cash to be able to give out and dole out to people for winning these events. Now I can be like, okay, we're gonna do like a 50K you know, prize for whatever it is we're doing on the server. And then I can just spawn that in and give that to a player, not have to worry about grinding and making sure I have all the equipment for me, my guys and all that. We can now do events, spawn the things in and just, and just do it in such a, a better and more uh, orchestrated and organized way. So I'm glad that that system is in the game as well. Today, on stream, I was dealing with a lot of building base issues. Obviously, they wiped everything, so I went back and I had to build my base from scratch. The biggest problem that I have with the game right now is the building system is sometimes so good and sometimes so goddamn horrible. If I'm going in and, and breaking it down for you guys, basically you set up a bunch of scaffolds, you put walls up, you put flooring in, you make everything good, and if you misplace something that could be either close by the structure that you've built, or it could be you accidentally place it so it's almost like touching and it's a little bit crooked, and you wanna go and like pull it out and like break it down, sometimes it gives you like an object blocked error, so you have to tear down absolutely everything that you have built in order to find the one thing that's glitching with another thing that you've placed down. It's such a pain in the ass. I had to do it twice today on stream. And then I finally said, fuck it. I'm getting out of the area that I'm in. I'm going to a brand new place, building a brand new base. And finally, we got it going, a good flow. And now I have some super like faction base that everyone's gonna be pretty happy with. But the reason why I bring this up is because as I was talking about some of the issues in the stream, I was getting frustrated as a, as a gamer first, as somebody who plays these games and I'm looking at these issues and seeing how some things could be mitigated and fixed in such a, in, in my opinion, such an easy way the developers were actually in chat today and they were getting pretty defensive about some of the things that I was saying. They were falling back on, you know, we're a small team. Everybody's comparing us to, you know, DayZ or games that have been out for five to seven years. We think that's unfair, yada, yada, yada. Look, I love the devs. I love the game. I, I don't put time into games that I don't fucking enjoy. And now I have over 80 hours. I put 75 in, had to take a break. I'm back, I'm giving y'all another chance. And for some reason, I can't seem to express any sort of criticism or negativity without developers getting really defensive. So I just want to say this at the end of this video, I love Deadside. There are people that have bought the game and refunded it and lashed out at me because I apparently hyped this game up and made them buy it and then it turns out that they thought it was shit and that's fine. If you think the game is trash, whatever the case, I don't I don't really give a fuck what people think. But like I love the game so much that I feel like when I criticize and I try to try to say like, oh man, I wish this was this way or I wish this was this way. I don't know if it's like a, a building pressure that developers feel, but for some reason, these developers got really defensive today. And obviously through text, I don't know if the feeling was like super like angry or like, oh man, fuck this guy or what. You can't really tell. But I just had to say like, I love Dead Side. For people who are asking if this game is like better than Scum or Daisy, it's a whole different experience. Even though they're both like technically open world survival games, this is a little bit more on like the PvP side of things, whereas Scum is way more survival focused. Daisy is kind of in the middle between those two. But like, just know that if I'm criticizing or if I'm expressing disappointment or anger or frustration in one of the features that are in the game, 
It's because I, I want the game to be the best it possibly can be. And obviously when I'm live streaming, it's completely uncut. It's completely like you guys are seeing what I'm feeling at the current moment. Right there, something happens and it's like, well, God damn it, fuck, and then I'm mad. Right then and there. Whereas if I'm recording a video, I can record it, you know, sit on it while I'm editing and be like, nah, I could probably pull that out, change that, say that a different way. But when I'm live streaming, it's like raw and uncut. That is how I'm feeling. So I hope the developers just don't feel a certain type of way about the shit that I was saying today. I just want to see the game get better. And I don't know why I felt the need to put that in a video, but today it just, it, it kind of got to me. And that they were getting really, really defensive in chat when I wasn't even trying to like attack them and, and roast them and, and get at the devs. It was more just like, I, I wish this game was just better in certain areas, specifically in the base building and some of the features, the quality of life stuff that I would like to see that I've explained in past videos. If you guys are into dead side, I think right now it's on sale to do with this new patch. It's 25% off right now. And when it comes to this game, just know that it is pretty polarizing. I've had people comment and say that they bought it because they thought it looked good from my videos and then they hated it. Or I've had people that have played and I've seen people put in, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hours and they say they fucking love it because of my videos. Like, just know that it might not be for you. The game is currently sitting at mostly positive and the most recent reviews, it is still mostly positive. It came out uh, April 14th, but we were definitely able to play a little bit earlier than that during the beta. This is a game that I actually really enjoy. And that's, that's how I'm going to leave it. If you guys want to check it out, here's the thing. If you guys are into it and you're looking at it and you're like, this might be something I like, it's currently $17 Canadian, which I think is around $15 American. I think that's a really good price. I think you could easily get 30 or 40 hours out of the game and enjoy every minute of it. If you don't, play it for an hour and 59 minutes and then refund it if you don't like it. I'm liking some of the additions of the game. I just have to realize, and I think a lot of people just have to look at it like, this is a small ass dev team. This game isn't going to be the game that we all want it to be tomorrow. This is definitely a work in progress, true to form, early access game. And I don't think it's a bad game coming into early access. They say the game's going to be in early access for 12 to 18 months. We'll see. And it's not a we'll see as in like there's no fucking way they're going to be able to do this. I just think because the team is so small, it's going to take them a little bit longer. And as long as the game right now is in a good state, I'm okay with that. This video was originally going to be like six minutes. I apologize for the rambling, but sometimes, sometimes I just want to talk. You know, sometimes I just want to chat about how I'm feeling about certain types of projects. But anyways, guys, let's wrap this shit up. My name is Big Fry. If you guys want to support the channel again, consider subscribing. Leave a like on the video. Both of those things are free. We're trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to be a more positive influence on all of these developers. Give you guys my thoughts and hopefully do it in a more constructive way so that developers don't get super defensive and angry and pissed off at Big Fry because he's roasting games. And when I saw that today, it was like, I, I just can't seem to win when it comes to constructive criticism. People just always get just uber defensive. So I just want to make sure that the, the feeling that I have is, is kind of documented. Like, I want this game to succeed so bad. If you guys want to support the channel on a higher level, consider becoming a member. Literally a dollar a month, $12 a year, and you can support the channel directly. Become a member. I'm working on getting more goodies for those guys, doing more behind-the-scenes posts. Might be doing a live stream once a month just for the channel members. We'll see. If you are a channel member, consider leaving a comment down below. It'll highlight it for you guys with, like, the logo and stuff. And let me know what you guys want to see for people who do support the channel directly. I, I would like to do more for you guys. So anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.